You know, after the relatively recent revival of Sherlock Holmes in film and television, I guess that it was just a matter of time before British literature's other famous detective got a glitzy big screen adaptation. However, Unlike the Guy Ritchie Sherlock Holmes movies, which ratcheted up the action a notch and took many liberties with the setting and source material, Murder on the Orient Express, directed by and starring Kenneth Branagh, is actually pretty faithful to the 1934 novel by Agatha Christie. The premise is this. Branagh's famous Belgian detective, Hercule Poirot, is travelling on the Orient Express train with a bunch of strangers, until the train is caught in a snowdrift and a passenger is found murdered. Through deduction and conversations with the eccentric and varied suspects, Poirot must solve the case before the train is rescued and an innocent person is arrested for the crime. While in the broad strokes of the plot the film is identical to the novel, Branagh's adaptation makes some changes and almost all of them are bad ones, giving the formerly celibate Poirot a dead lover whose photo he is enamoured with adds absolutely nothing to the plot or Poirot's characterisation and just comes across as random. There are also one or two action scenes, with the chase scene in particular feeling like it was added to the movie just to give the film something exciting to use for the trailers. The cast, however, are excellent and definitely elevate the material, with the suspects played by a variety of established screen legends and rising stars, from Judi Dench to Michelle Pfeiffer to Johnny Depp to Daisy Ridley. The amount of star power on display is blinding, and yet aside from Poirot himself, I didn't feel like any of the actors were overexposed during the film. Everybody got enough screen time to establish their characters without overtaking the whole movie, and that was impressive. The interrogation sections are where the film truly shines, with Branagh's flair for shooting tense dialogue making these scenes truly engaging, as every word from the suspects make them sound more suspicious, even if Poirot's ridiculous Belgian accent and giant moustache with a little moustache on the sides make it a bit hard for me to take him seriously sometimes. I won't spoil the ending, as even though the book is 80 years old, I would feel like a dick, but it was very satisfying seeing all of the pieces that the film had established fall into place. Furthermore, the ending teases Death on the Nile, another Agatha Christie adventure, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get a sequel with Branagh's version of Poirot sometime soon. In the end, I'm going to have to give this one a 7.5 out of 10. While some of the stars are somewhat wasted in their roles and the amount of indulgence that Branagh gives his main character generally makes him more annoying than sympathetic, this is still a very solid murder mystery and totally holds up. Check it out.